most of the people uh, using uh, CI/CD pipelines by monitoring the repositories on master branch or any particular uh, requirement or release branch and using those so they are going to trigger the jobs and uh, so they are going to the deployments accordingly but there are other alternate way uh, alternate ways of doing it and in this today's video we are going to look into the other alternate ways and once again welcome to linux automation and in this video we are going to discuss about how do we use cicd using git tags so most of the people would be using uh, uh, the Jenkins as a CI, CI system whenever there are any commits happen to the git repository usually the master branch and they are going to do the CI CD along with the production deployments but this is going to be not useful in all the business cases and as well as there are even some problems that if you commit the code wrong code or if you merge the code wrongly and that leads to the production deployment ultimately leads to the outage so this should not happen and such accidents can be avoided by looking into alternate options of the git and in this video so we are going to completely rely on git tags so using git tags we are going to uh, talk about whenever it, a new tag has been created so we can tell our jenkins system so uh, use that particular tag and you know, uh, use that particular version of tag and deploy that particular version of release as well so whenever you usually go for uh, um, uh, directly monitoring a particular branch so when, while you are doing the deployments, it always be difficult that how do you track the versions. So using Git repositories, so you can track the versions. So you can mark that particular, uh, you can mark that particular code as a particular uh, uh, tag, and that particular version should be referred by your application while compiling the code, so that you can uh, maintain the consistency of the versions right from your code to right from to your. Uh, uh, artifact managers and even right to the production so everywhere you'll be using the same versions so here we are going to talk about how do we create a tag and uh, how do we uh, create jenkins job so that it can monitor the tags and create the uh, run automatically whenever there are new tags have been created so let's go and talk about um, so this one so this is a strategy which we want to implement and so we are going to have a git repositories but when there are any new tags created so jenkins will act accordingly and it is going to deploy into do one sample environment so that is what we want to see, see here so here i am actually trying to use um, uh, i'm trying to use the uh, docker images and i'll try to, i'll try to deploy it into the kubernetes environment just to make my life easier so that's all and we're going to see this in practical way so this is my uh, brand new uh, jenkins dashboard but before to this uh, i would like to show you this is my git repository i just added uh, uh, some sample code so here is a docker file having the images putting my index.html into the default page and uh, and running the default um, web service and here is an index.html file so ideally it doesn't have any content let me put some content here let's say hello from assuming that as version one yeah so now i want to mark this particular code as version one code and how would i do that is in github you have a releases button so there you can have a tags you can just go and create a new tag here so which is let's say i'm putting v1 and uh, so the same code or the same uh, version will be used to tag to our docker images as well so how do we do that we'll see that now now coming to the Jenkins dashboard, so here I'm going to create a, a simple sample um, uh, uh, freestyle jobs. I'm not going to make it complex writing pipeline jobs. Ultimately, we can do that as well. But um, so here uh, I want to run it on a particular slave. I'm just going to give the slave and here is a Git repository. And this is my Git repository. By default, this Git plugin is going to allow you to monitor uh, a master branch but i want to go for a tags now so if any tag is created i want to trigger this job and i always want to monitor tags and i want to do it mo um, monitor automatically i'm going to use a pull acm plugin so just click on save and and yeah some action some steps need to be performed and i'll just go to execute shell so whatever the branch has been created so uh, you need to know which branch has been uh, um, you know so triggered over here but anyhow so we'll see that but as of now i just go and give uh, a just a dummy command so host name nothing more than that so just click on build now manually for now first step so it is going to um, load that 
the Git repository and uh, it will look. Now we are going to monitor this particular uh, job and if there are any tags created so that it is going to run. So let's wait for it to um, uh, look for, so currently uh, it just already made a pull uh, to the Git repository and as it is going to happen in next two seconds, take two minutes. So it is going to look if there are any tags which are created. So then it is going to uh, trigger this particular job. So whether it is getting created or not, so we are going to look into that. But in the meanwhile, so let's wait for that. So I'm just going to do the enable auto refresh and we'll wait for uh, any tag creation. So in the meanwhile, I'll just go and create a new tag. Um, no, I already created one. I just want to create one more uh, over here. Just, I think we can just go for new release. So we'll mark it as V2 or V1.1 probably because one is already there. <coughs> yeah, so you can just see the tags are, two tags has been created. All right, so let's wait for our Jenkins job to monitor these particular changes and uh, so let it trigger the build. Uh, let me cross verify whether I have given the right options. Perfect. Every two minutes it is going to check. It just ran, but uh, it has identified that there are no changes. So even though the new tag is created, but ide ideally there were no code changes. So, and, uh, so that is the reason it has not performed anything. So I would like to go for uh, a version one dot uh, or version two, let's say, assume. I'm making some change to the code. and I'm going to create a, a tag now. So we got the new tag created and let's wait for the job to be created. So uh, 1.12.58 is the time when it has ran previously and currently the time is 12.59 almost uh, uh, 12.59.33. So in 30 seconds it is going to uh, monitor this and it is going to trigger the job. So now we can see that there is a new brand, uh, new tag has been identified and that is the reason uh, we just uh, got this particular message and it has uh, triggered this particular new job. But ultimately, you need to know which tag actually it has been created. So here it is uh, getting the information that there is a new tag, which is V2, but you need to get that information into your um, code in order, to, uh, in order to map the same version to your uh, uh, Docker images. Okay, so for that, let me go and uh, so, uh, run a couple of commands which can help me in doing that. Uh, so here, uh, uh, so first of all, so there is an option. So let me take, sh let me show you the command line options. How can you get the latest tag there? So you can take this repository. Just yeah, so here uh, you have an option. So you can just go uh, reverse list date order and you can just give what you're looking for is a tax or if you just go and give tax so you're going to get all the tax um, or you're getting uh, you know, so all the tax anyhow yeah and so here you're going to get uh, iPhone iPhone date iPhone order so that you're going to get the latest one at the starting so you're getting the uh, latest one at the starting only and uh, so we are going to take that and if we ask um, so if we ask the tax um, or show iphone ref and uh, so you can just give um, iphone iphone tax if you are looking for and so here are the tags so here is the latest one and you can take that particular uh, latest tag and you can grab for that particular uh, commit id over here so here is where you are going to get the tag so i am going to use these two commands fetch the uh, the version and the same version I would like to uh, I would like to push it to my uh, or you know so put it to my docker image and I'll push it to my uh, I will uh, push it to my uh, you know so docker hub and from there I'll be pulling the images into my kubernetes cluster all right so for that let me go and give docker space login There I go, 
and uh, so here is anyhow this is my slave machine and hence I'm just logged in over here so, and uh, now let me go and put the steps and the steps we are uh, going to use is so here is a command so which you can use to um, and um, so head hyphen one so this is a command which we are going to run and after that you are going to get tag is equal to I got the tag I'm going to use a docker build hyphen T dollar tag and this one and docker push so let it push to the central repository which is docker hub all right so here done. so let's so anyhow we have seen that the tags are going to work but for, for now so this is already version 2 tag and i'm going to build it manually because this job is already been triggered so unless until you create another tag it will not work so let's go and uh, do this so it is actually making the image you can see that also you can see here you got the v2 uh, you got the v2 uh, as a version inside your tag variable Yeah, so it is trying to push the image as well and once after it is uh, push the image so this is how uh, my um, um, so ideally this job should not be I cannot call it as a deploy uh, probably I should be calling this as a, a compile but anyhow that's okay or, or build that basically that's okay so then the next step which I'm going to do over here is uh, I'm going to uh, you know, apply this particular uh, tag into my uh, <clears throat> into my uh, uh, deployment.yaml which is in kubernetes so here is already i made that particular file so i can just take the deployment.yaml file and so here is uh, the version which i'm going to replace with the tag which i want to uh, apply okay so let's go and do that so here uh, said hyphen e so search for let's put double quotes so search for uh, um, a version keyboard and replace it with dot tag you're done and the file is going to be slash home slash sent OS uh, slash deployment dot yml file and redirect the output to slash tmp slash deployment dot yml and after that so qctl uh, apply hyphen f so just apply this particular file which creates a deployment Okay, so let's go and give a try of this. And I'm just going to uh, build this job once again. And uh, so it is going to, <clears throat> so push the image as well as it is going to create the image as well. So here over the command line, so we can check, so cat slash tmp, so which is deployment.yaml file, which is replaced with v2. And we have this particular image available. And hence, uh, you can check kubectl uh, gets the spots and you'd be seeing uh, nginx deployment is running and uh, ultimately it is going to get one ip address to this so and i'm going to take this ip address and uh, so check it inside a cluster so call and this one i'm getting hello from version 2 so version 2 has been uh, version 2 tag has been created and the same version 2 has been applied to the docker image and the same docker image is being used in the deployment inside my kubernetes cluster or else you can take a server and you know so deploy it or it can be a var file or jar file which are deploying okay so you put it to nexus uh, while it goes to the nexus also the same version you will be using and uh, and ultimately so uh, you'll be downloading that particular var file into uh, into the server or into the docker image or into the cluster or kubernetes cluster kind of thing 
directly okay so that is how you can take care so all we need to do is so test it out everything is working fine or not by modifying the code so here i'm going to modify the code which is uh, v3 i'm going to put v3 and uh, so here uh, just come the changes and before to that actually i was using a pod ip address rather than that i'll just use a cube space get spc so let me take the service ip address uh, so here is a one and so call and do this you're getting hello from v2 that's okay v3 and let me go to a new tag so here they're alternately calling it as release but ultimately it's a technology of uh, git which is uh, uh, which is uh, a tax only so publish release and you got v3 so now we need to wait for jenkins job so automatically check for v3 and uh, automatically the job should be triggered and uh, it is going to uh, now put that same uh, uh, version into our Kubernetes cluster and we'll be seeing the version 3 finally after running the same command. I'll run the same command, I'll hit the same uh, IP address, but we'll be seeing a v3 version. So let's wait for it to look for the changes. You can see this, uh, the new changes has been found and new job has been uh, getting triggered. And in this particular job, so it is just going to uh, have a version 3 tag. So here uh, you can see this, you are getting version 3 and you just get deployed into um, you know, our cluster. And so here, uh, if I just go ahead and hit this, so then, uh, so still it is uh, not deployed yet. So kubectl get space bots. So it is still coming up. Yeah, it came in. Now I can go ahead and give uh, this one. I'm getting hello from V3. So this is how you can make your life easy and uh, transparent on the versions wise. So right from the Git repository, right to the production. And uh, so this is how we are going to take care in most of the business areas. And uh, automatic deployments using the master branch probably is not the right solution in most of the situations because it has a probability of uh, putting the wrong code into the production. And that's where we use Git tagging at, at most in most of the environments. Hope this helps you the video and thank you and please subscribe to the channel and once again have a good day.